welcome or welcome back to my channel today's cash stuffing video is for october paycheck number one and the budget week is october 1 to october 7 by the time you're watching this probably at the end of the week but just know that this is a week's worth of like cash stuffing at the end of the week i will do an unstuffing maybe in ig or here in youtube but basically it's like a weekly check-in because i'm currently using my credit card which is the discover credit card they recently um increase my credit line from 500 to 2500 and i want to take advantage of that so all of my expenses technically are going through my credit card and then at the end of the budget week for example this one october 7 i am going to total all the expenses that i, that I incurred per category and then i'm going to unstuff them um using the money in my envelope so basically the, that's what i'm going to do starting like last week and i feel like it's really convenient and also a good practice for me because one i am able to rip off the benefit of the credit card cashback and also through using the credit card and then paying it off completely per week um i'm able to you know have good credit score and i think increasing my credit score is really my priority especially if i want to buy a house in a few years from now so that's what i'm going to do i'm actually binge watching a lot of unstuffing videos weekly check-ins and transfer tuesday thursday so that's my thing lately <laughs> and um some channels that do this are budget with jeanette um jazzy Faye budget go ahead and check them out or you can just search unstuffing videos it's really really fun and kind of makes me more organized especially with tracking my expenses but i'm still cash stuffing obviously uh, we have my whole setup in here and i just love how the sun is hitting my setup i'm basically in a like glass door so yeah the sun is here <laughs> so i hope you guys don't mind that's it for the intro let's go to the cash stuffing part okay so we have my budget breakdown over here which by the way if you want to get this template i will link it in the description box below as well as my other freebie trackers here are my cash envelopes i did unstuff them as i mentioned a while ago and these are all leftover and rollover money which i'm so happy about because it's been like three or four months ever since i had some leftover money from my cash envelopes so it made me really happy it's definitely a money win for me okay so now we will just unstuff this for the rollover so gas still has ten dollars over here spending has ten dollars and i didn't spend a single um, money for my spending envelope which is amazing and then groceries we still have ten dollars eating out obviously <laughs> doesn't have anything as always and yeah so now we have $30 for rollover, which I'm going to put this in my money, I, I mean in my monthly savings challenge that I chose for October, which I'm going to like talk about later. But first, we're just going to set this aside and we're going to stuff my cash envelopes. So for spending, we will get $10. By the way, guys, happy October. How's October so far? And what are your like October goals? Mine, I will try to flash it on the screen gas will get 30 dollars and uh, one of my goals is to actually make an etsy like account where i will upload some printables and digital like stuff budgeting related maybe not really just budgeting related but other kinds of printables i'm kind of nervous and excited if i can do that this month but one can hope right <laughs> And then we have groceries and groceries will get $40. So I'm just practicing that printables using some freebies that I upload in this channel. So let me know guys what you want to see as my <laughs> printable products. And actually, um, thank you also for the 2000 subscribers. Oh my God, guys, I am just blown away. It's just like since yesterday, I just hit my 1K and now it's 2K. So thank you so much for the support i really really appreciate each and every one of you and then eating out will get 50 dollars. i did overspend last week in eating out so i'm increasing the amount that i got in here just to try to have a more stable like money in this envelope but how about you guys what are your october goals to share it in the comments section down below and i guess that's everything for my cash envelopes and we will just put this on the side okay next are my savings in sinking funds i'm just gonna do my high priority first and then of course we will start with my future home which we put 50 dollars per week 
And now we have $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $50, $70. So that's a good start. Hopefully, I can hit another $1,000 in here before the year ends. Well, <laughs> looking at it, I think no, but one can hope. And Freedom Money will get $10, I think. Yeah, I already mark it in my like tracker here. And now we'll just put $10. So... We have 550, 600, 650, 700, 7, 720, 30, 40, 45. So we have $745 for three to six months bills buffer. How are you guys? How was your weekend? Actually, my weekend was a blur. I haven't been online in like Instagram for like almost four days because of some things <laughs> that I just... Uh, but yeah i haven't been online and this is like the first time i'm filming again with cash stuffing and this is kind of late by the way so how was your weekend mine was inevitable but it was kind of fun i actually got sick yesterday <laughs> but yeah wait vacation first we'll get 20 dollars and i already marked it in my like challenge tracker over here so it doesn't have to consume time but i got sick yesterday because last because this sun i mean last sunday we went to a park and then we ate food and then the night after that we like me and my sister really got sick with our st i mean upset stomach and we were in the restroom for <laughs> i don't know but it was so bad that I had to go home half day from work and yeah but now I'm getting better I'm staying dehydrated so that's a good thing and then electronics will get actually $20 okay I forgot <laughs> but yeah I already also marked this off and um, actually I talked with my boyfriend about my plan to upgrade to a new phone and I kind of like think I'm not going to push with that idea because I moving from iPhone 11 to iPhone 13 is just economically not favorable like it doesn't make sense for me since this one is working just fine it's just the storage which I can always like um, fix with upgrading my iCloud storage instead of upgrading to a new phone so I talked with him and he said is it more of an asset or liability and I feel like it's more of a liability for me since I need to save up for it in like my window time like the goal for this one was supposed to be next year January or February but I don't think I can achieve that <laughs> with my pacing so I'm still going to put this in high priority but I don't think upgrading to iPhone 13 is my goal now probably 14 when it comes <laughs> so still gonna save for electronics who knows maybe i will upgrade my macbook pro instead because i still have the 2015 one and it's really kind of slow but yeah then carnage will get ten dollars i keep um condensing this like envelope but i always have a lot of tents <laughs> like i never run out of tents in this envelope now we have 50 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 85 now you see <laughs> i have eight 185 dollars for car needs also last saturday we went to ikea <laughs> just um a story time and bought a dresser which i'm really really fond of so it's so cute it's very tall and it's four drawer it's the mom drawer and i actually treat it as a standing desk <laughs> so you guys know that i've been wanting a standing desk but since that drawer came we and we built it i treat it as a standing desk and it's been working well for me whenever i do want to use my laptop and just stand <laughs> so it's a dual dual purpose dentist will get 20 dollars wow i'm talking way too much <laughs> I feel mean, like I have a lot of things to say. Now we have 50, 100, 50, 220, 30. So we have $230 for dentist. And I'm running out of bread and my <laughs> mouth is getting dry. Okay, back to bank won't get any. And then my health is wealth um, self care challenge. This is the savings challenge that I chose for this month. So every month I will choose a savings challenge. And I can only do one <laughs> because I can't do multiple since I have low income or limited budget and I can only spare a few like dollars and some leftovers if I have. So you guys know that I have the $30 leftover from my previous cash envelope. So I will put that here. But basically this health is wealth self-care challenge. This one is from Erin. I'm just going to pull up her <laughs> Instagram. 
Okay, so this is like her post regarding this um, challenge. Basically, if you buy this monthly challenge, the digital or the printable copy, just like this one, we have like the PDF version and then the envelope version. Um, all the proceeds or all the earnings that she get, will, she will donate into the Liver Foundation Australia and American Liver Foundation. So if you join this um, challenge and buy from her shop, it's for a good cause. So it's really amazing and basically you just you know do some self-care every day try to relax try to do something for yourself and I am going to put the leftover $30 in here and then I'm just I feel like I will do like five dollars per photo since I gave $30 I can cross out six six photos in here so that's really wonderful again I will link um, her Instagram post and also her channel plus shop in the description box below if you want to join this challenge this month so yeah that is what we have for my sinking fund savings and high priorities challenges or savings <laughs> and that's it and now I have my um, Happy Binder, Kinta from Budget by Cutie suggested the name so that I don't have to call this um, low priority or medium priority sinking funds binder. Okay, so we have for my buffer, we will put $5 in here. Now we have 10, 20, 30, 35 for 3 to 6 months bills buffer. Okay, Adventures will get $10. And my plan for this is actually for a Taylor Swift concert if she will ever announce her tour dates because I think a lot of pop singers already announced theirs like Justin Bieber, Shawn Mendes. I'm just waiting for her to really just drop <laughs> her um, tour date. That's why I'm, um, I'm saving for a future ticket with this money. Now we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 for adventures. Christmas won't get any already hit my goals in here. Health won't get any, gifts won't get any, taxes won't get any, Ivan won't get any, beauty will get 5. So we have $10 in here for beauty. And then books will get 5. I'm actually subscribed to a um, subscription box, book subscription box. So I pay $15 every month and I will pick a hardcover book for the month. And then they will just ship it. So all the money that I um, use for that will go, I, I mean, will come from here. And my goal every month is to actually read two books. I'm actually a bookworm. Like 2013 to 2016 me was hardcore bookworm. I have a Goodreads account. I have read like almost 200 books, 250 plus books already. And it kind of stopped when I got into college. So I'm trying to revive my bookworm, the bookworm inside me. So I'm just trying to do it slowly by reading two to five books per month. So I hope I can do that. And then giving won't get any, that retirement won't get any, clothing will get five. And then um, YouTube or giveaway will get five. So we now have five, ten, fifteen for giveaway. And again, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. I will have a future giveaway soon, so I hope you stay tuned for that. And that's it for this happy binder. Okay, next are my bills. So now we have rent and it won't get any. Utilities will just get $50. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. So we have $185 for utilities. And then car loan won't get any. Car insurance will get $40. So that's the remaining $40. And then phone will just get $50. The remaining 50. Life insurance will get $15. So I pay $30 here. And it's just a good measure to start early. Snowball debt will just get $5. And I think we're down to the last $180 on that um, Best Buy credit card. So now I have 5, 10, 15, 20. This is a shared um, debt with my sister. So I already have 20. If she gives me 20, so that's 40. Now we're going to be down to 140. So yeah, we're, we're definitely going to end that this year. So I'm really happy. Canva Pro will get $5. I pay annual um, subscription with Canva Pro. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The graphics that you see in my edits actually just came from Canva Pro and I just try to edit it, manipulate it, put animation on it. So 
it's a really good investment for me it makes my edit kind of fun and i have fun editing using canva pro so that's a tip <laughs> velo won't get any but i don't have an icloud envelope yet so i will just put the icloud um money in my velo pro envelope first but i pay velo pro annually and icloud monthly so i'm just gonna oh no this one is five this is the last five dollars i'm just gonna take note that there's five for velo there's five for icloud and then that's it for this bills binder Again, if you do like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!